how to connect the Shopify store with Facebook and Instagram. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can go ahead and connect your Shopify store with Facebook and Instagram. In this tutorial, we'll cover everything step by step. We're going to be going over all the features and the benefits in this beginner friendly tutorial. So it doesn't matter if you've never used this software before, because after watching this video, you'll know everything about it. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. Now, first things first, the most easiest way possible is you download the application for the official Facebook and Instagram over here in the App Store. So just simply go ahead and click on the App Store. Here, it'll usually pop up, but if you don't see it, you can just simply search for Facebook and it'll pop up right here. This is the application. This is the meta application right here, Facebook and Instagram. And you will also need to make sure that you have a meta business account. So go ahead and open up the meta business suite. And here we go. Uh, it's pretty simple. You don't really need to create an account. Uh, it'll just ask you to go ahead and sign up with your Facebook account. You can see I already have one over here. And then all you would have to do is actually create a page. You can see right here when you go ahead and sign up, you create a profile with the meta business suite. And then it'll ask you to create a page that you can link to your Facebook account. And that page will act as like a foundation for everything. You want to run ads, you want to create a shop, you want to go ahead and connect to Shopify. That page is going to be the one to do it. So once you've set everything up, once you've created the account and everything, all you got to do is just download the Facebook and Instagram application. I'll pin it right here. Click on get started right here. You can see I've already installed it. Click on get started. And you'll need to go ahead and connect your account so you can see if, uh, it's already connected uh, next step is to go ahead and connect the meta business suite portfolio so click on connect and it'll automatically connect with the profile and then it's going to go ahead and ask you to go ahead and create like a pixel this pixel will go ahead and collect data on your website from your users you can go ahead and select the level of data you want to collect and you can click on save and then you can see right here we got all these pixels you can go ahead and connect to each one of them it totally depends on you uh, i have a couple of them you can go ahead and create one create a new meta pixel right here but you can see we got a lot of pixels so let's go with uh this one right here this is the one that i created earlier but you can go ahead and connect with any one of them or if you want you can go ahead and click on create new pixel and it'll create one and click on confirm and there you have it then all you got to do is click on agree to their terms and conditions and click on submit for review then it's going to go ahead and submit those those information so step back let it do its thing and yeah and here we go so once it's ready you are good to go it's now connected with your account you can go ahead and start running your ads you will also see that all the products that you have over here in your shopify store have now been published and are now ready as a catalog for your facebook to use as a shop either on instagram or facebook so for example if i were to show you this catalog i'll open it up in another tab you can see right here these are all the products that we have on our shopify store it's still loading up a little bit so give it a couple of seconds but anyway you can go ahead and get started and you can go ahead and now create an ad with shopify not only can you create an ad for your shopify store on facebook and instagram but you can also use the commerce manager that we are on over here and since we have linked our store you can see right here published products over here we should be good to go uh it's still loading up let me try to reload it sorry about that uh also make sure that you, if you come over here select your product click on the three dots and include in sales channels and here select facebook and instagram click on include it and there you have and your products will be included over here so we should be good to go now they should appear over here as well and here we go so you can see right here underneath the catalog underneath the items we have all the products that we have and now we can go ahead and use these products and upload them to our shop you can see right here we have the shops icon here you will be able to see all the shops right now uh the shop is not live but you can go ahead and edit it and create one you can see right here it's pretty simple uh this is how it looks like this is how it would look like on your page right here you've got your offers home page features you can even add certain collections as well so pretty cool right but yeah this is how it looks like when you've connected your shopify to your facebook account next if you want to go ahead and you know create ads you can do that as well by clicking on the create ad button over here it's going to take you to the next page where you can go ahead and get started with the ads manager and here 
you can go ahead and create your ads so here you can see i already have a few so let me just go ahead and check those and uh, delete them like so and now let's go ahead and create it so first things first they also tell you to go ahead and add a payment method since you are going to add it later on but it's better to do so beforehand or if you want you can do it afterwards once you've set everything up totally depends on you so go ahead and click on the create button over here and here you can go ahead and create your ad you can go ahead and choose the buying type either it's auction or reservation both of these will have different options if you want you can go ahead and select them if you want reservations you can go with awareness and engagement if you want auction you can go ahead and go with sales as well so we're going to continue with sales and click on next next you can go with the ai version the one that has like the presets pre-installed it's already got all the information that, that, that you would possibly need to go ahead and add it'll ask you to add the information that is necessary but the ones that is not necessary it'll do it on its own using ai but if you want you can go with the manual option as well and over here you can go ahead and choose an objective so for now we're going to go with sales and click on continue and we're going to go with the manual setup of course you can go with the advanced one totally depends on you but if you go with the advanced one, half the things are going to be already in place. So let me just show you that. I'm going to click on continue. And here we go. So here you can see we've got the name. It says Advantage Plus. It's fine. Category, it does not apply for this. These are special categories that apply to housing, employment, uh, social issues, and financial problems. Like, for example, credit cards and stuff like that. Uh, then we have conversion. We have website. Of course, we already selected that. Data set, a new pixel can be created over here. And over here, purchase. Uh, you can see right here this is the conversion event what type of conversion event do you want do you want it to be initiate checkout donate complete registration or yeah, as the name suggests purchase we're going to go with that one you can set up conversion over here using the meta pixel that is available on your website by clicking over here you can track conversion with the standard event or track custom conversions as well totally depends on you selecting both of them will be good to go so you can, over here you can see all of the events that are happening over here the descriptions as well and then you can go ahead and click on done these are email instructions so that you can go ahead and install them but you can go to go to test events to test them as well and once it's done it's loading up so here in the events go into data source right here event manager you will see new pixel right here this is the one that we created we can go ahead and click on continue setting it up we can go with the api conversion or meta pixel both are good uh you can install it with code manually or you can check for partners we already have one over here you can see since uh we have shopify we're going to select shopify from that list it's going to go ahead and tell us to go ahead and check it we've already done that so install facebook good we've done that go to shopify we've already done that so we're going to click on next over here add the website name paste the url over here and then you can click on send test traffic is basically going to go ahead and collect data from you so you can go ahead and purchase an item from your website and that is going to go ahead and complete the order complete the verification but for now we're just not going to do that uh, because it takes time but you guys can understand how it's done then you click on done and then just add the cost per goal this is optional you can leave it as it is since we are going to go ahead and set a budget later on so it'll be included Next is going to be the audience location. Here you can go ahead and set locations, multiple different locations. You can see right here currently we have United States. You can select places as well. Like for example, uh, is that Alaska? Probably. Uh, we got other locations as well, but for now we're going to leave it as it is. You can see right here, America. Current conversions are over here. You can set your daily budget. If you increase the budget, you can increase the conversions as well, but it depends on you whether or not it's worth it. So make sure to check your budget regularly, maybe even on a weekly basis or a bi-weekly basis to see whether or not you're getting what you want. And then we have the ad advantage over here where we can go ahead and create the ad. These are currently no suggestions. We can click on import and we can import existing ads over here if we have them. But once it's good, uh, it'll basically use your website that you've added and it's going to go ahead and pick out all the items that you have in your website and then you're going to go ahead and use them as your ad so if i come over here you can see a uh, preview there's currently nothing over here uh we can see primary text advantage where is it it should be over here here we select the catalog so you can see right here a bunch of different catalogs are available for us so just go ahead and select them and you should be good to go here is going to be the product set you can go with one product all products totally depends on you but it should appear over here in the preview you can go with the creative tool you can go with a single image or a slideshow uh, you can go add profiles uh, call to actions is going to be over here apply now buy now uh, you can go ahead and select whichever button you want primary text you can add it over here and then you should be good to go next is going to be the website pixel is not yet enabled but that's fine i already showed you how you can set it up and then just simply click on the publish button 
and add in your payment info and you are good to go and that's how you do it that's how you can run ads as well so there you have it these were all the informations you needed to know about how to connect your shopify store with facebook and instagram so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye